this is internet subject. Here's to some business serial level. Suppose you have billion honors management at the same time. In the part one. We're continuing our discussion regarding international trade practices. Bangladesh and worldwide. This is the subject. Topics here. I have written to go through the discussion regarding the difference between free trade and protection. Next topic is the consequences of free trade and protection in the economy of a country. And third topic is that which industries are massive for protection is the Bangladesh. Look, international trade. We discussed earlier as we continue it. Uh, I mean, already several classes I've taken in this paper about. Now, the international trade, importance of international trade, wide, wide, highly spread, and economy of a certain country, and not only of a certain country, of the region, at the same time, the worldwide economy is. Part of person, because it's part of person in terms of trade. If such a certain country is very rich, and this is the substitution of international trade, and that country is enlightened, and that country is the, uh, in the right position economically. Anyway, as we discussed earlier, in, uh, in terms of science, demands, and protectionism, now some differences between the protectionism and free trade. Free speed, free speed. There is no restrictions, no impositions of different sorts of legal uh, restrictions or the investment restrictions to vary. Uh, then there is free. Anytime, any moment, that country can import or export any goods or services from the, any country of the world and at the same time can export to another country of the world. No problem. No restrictions of their imposition. At the same time, but when there is a question of the protectionism, the protectionism is, uh, is to protect some countries that there in the world. They are not that much interested to import goods and services from the foreign countries because they like to survive their own industries, own manufacturing, own production for the uh, development of the economy, development of the country, or to save their foreign exchanges as they are for the different sources. That is the protectionism. But nowadays it's becoming much, much more tough because I'm putting your goods and why should you import my goods? If my quality is the right, I am the provider of the right quality goods or services at the right price, your, your people need my product. So in that point of view, the protectionism must be uh, come down. Anyway, just uh, some uh, difference between protectionism and free trade in this point. I like the difference in definition. Yes, definition I did define it only earlier. And the difference in object. The object means two different objectives. Yes, protectionism concerned and character to not to import goods from the five countries because we have to manufacture our own uh, goods and services within our country to provide the consumption of all ultimate consumers of the buyers. But, what if, uh, I mean, uh, free trade, in terms of free trade, yes, no, my door should be being open. Can open to import goods and services from the foreign countries or any other countries of the world because my people need it for their own consumption. Then the consumer's freedom, yes. In terms of the production of the consumer's uh, freedom is very much restricted and lamented because consumers are simply inclined or bound to get purchase their own country's product production. But when they are treated that the consumers are they have the freedom to get purchase products which are available in the market, whatever the country of origin, no problem. Then the monopolistic influence 
Why is protectionism prevails that the monopolistic influence prevail within that country? But why the free trade practice is going on there? No problem. No problem. There is then competition. Then competition and where monopolistic atmosphere doesn't prevail there. That's the thing. Then the difference in the specialization. Why? Trade is free, then there is a the question of the top competition and specialization. Until unless I am manufacturing the right quality product at a uh, right quality product at a certain price, a lower price for the uh, ultimate consumer, then that uh, consumer will not be satisfied. So there is a question of expression, the right quality product has to be manufactured at the right and right quality uh, with better service or for better taste uh, as per the consumer's need. But when there is a question of the production, is the productionism, yes, that is the restricted and the level paid we have. The consumer needs, whether like it, that doesn't matter. They will have to purchase this item because your country only manufactures this item for your and no other products are coming from the outside. Then production and consumption. And uh, production and consumption, okay, when there is production for production is be big, then there is no chance of manufacturing goods or services uh, as with the concept of specialization. So People's taste, consumer's taste, their purchasing capacity, all these things are equal. As a result, the development of that product doesn't that much level them, uh, changes or develops. Then, level interest. Uh, productionism is basically uh, to somehow uh, uh, lo uh, lo local level, local level oriented, local level interest oriented. Because that country is not interested to import goods or services from the foreign countries. As a result, local leaders, uh, local neighbors are getting regular salary and higher salary. The dependency. It's a very important thing. While free trade prevail, then the countries worldwide Less dependent each other or among, among themselves. Because I am manufacturing quality goods, and so I, I am very much ready. Because to surpass goods, I want to export from your country. Because your consumers, your people also like my product. Same way, if other countries manufacturing certain good item, <laughs> then my people like that product. So I'll have to be ready to import that product for my people's consumption, to mitigate the consumption of my people. Then, utilization of resources. Uh, uh, yeah, utilization of resources. We have been factories certain goods and international market is demanding that good. So, Whatever the resources are available in my country, and if I will use in my manufacturing and conversion process of that raw materials, then obviously that will be the best use of raw materials for quality for, for quality goods manufacturing for the world market. But if uh, uh, production is the base, then there is also question of use of the raw materials, which is which we extract from our own resource or procure from our own resource. But not that much level because we are not manufacturing goods or services for the foreign countries, for foreign buyers or consumers. That is the trouble. Then experience. As if the production is prevail in a certain country, then the experience and expertise is not that much level important. Because we are manufacturing this product for our own country people. And people are bound to get purchase this product. So there is no specialized, no high risk efficiency, uh, competency is here needed to manufacture that goods. But when I am for the world market or export market, then there is a question of tough competition. Our different countries of the world, they are manufacturing the same product. 
So if I want to ensure that positively I should have a portion of a specialization skill and efficiency as a whole. Okay. Then international assistance, we terms of international assistance, we have a multiple modified way international assistance can a certain country can enjoy because if there is a free trade system, then the number of countries there, their own their interest also contact and connected to us well with the bonding. The bonding is concerned because I am manufacturing my goods and services for the international market, and the country Jenny is also manufacturing goods and services. Services for my country, for his own country, and for the other countries in the world. In that point, each and every country is ready to extend their cooperations <coughs> for manufacturing the right quality goods and services for the international market. Okay, that's the thing. So, uh, international assistance is here to play in this point. So, but when there is a protectionism, then other countries need not to bother. For the quality of development and cost minimization, or the people's satisfaction of the things for the country, uh, international market wide. So, as you see, no more debate there. Say, Bangladesh is now manufacturing multi variety consumers' goods and services. And for that purpose, so many countries are very much interested and very much connected to the business relationship with Bangladesh. Our special economic zones, our EP projects, uh, all these things here. If huge number, so within five years, more than 500 billion dollar investment is here coming. At the same time, our expectation after 2025 will cost about one trillion dollar. Anyway, because why? Because our we are our tendency is to uh, not only export but also side by side to import foreign goods and services. Or we have sometimes to procure raw materials from the different parts, different countries of the world. Anyway, the, so protectionism means a blockade. When a country creates a blockade for their uh, thinking, better interest for their own country, but not actually gives any that may create a blockade of investment of goods manufacturing. The uh, dishonest competition. Well, protection is the prevail that there is no chance of uh, uh, competition because uh, no chances of competition because I am just manufacturing goods and services for my own people. So uh, that is very much. There is no mere chance because no other party is there. As there is no other party, no competitors are there. So no problem, no competition there when there is a protectionism debate. But when they are free trade, then yes, I want to say for I just want to LED television, I want all this cell phone. This cell phone, say USA brand it may be, but there is a country, Kaya country, China. China can manufacture any kind of any branded item worldwide, I mean uh, class one branded item worldwide, China can manufacture at a, uh, I mean minimizing at least seventy percent cost cost of manufacturing, and they don't bother this country don't bother for the patent right. What about the brand? Yes, then and there China is making the same kind of product and they are selling it out at a very minimum sales price. That's the achievement. And uh, in that point, dishonest competition, I mean, in terms of protectionism, yes, the whole country under the protectionism, no problem. But where free trade, free trade is prevailing, then dishonest competition occurs this way. Yes, actual product is for made in USA, but China is stopping that, Vietnam is stopping that. Or Taiwan is coming there, Singapore is coming there, India is coming there, Bangladesh is sometimes also coming there. So we are getting that Chinese product, we are getting that product at a very big number level, though the main name of the brand name of that product is 
USA. Many actually USA. Anyway, now this is the situation and the other topics will be discussed in the next continuation of the next classes. Okay, dear students, pandemic situation is now rising and the death number is increasing. So you keep yourself safe. Don't go outside, don't move elsewhere without top urgent issue. I think unless the matter is top urgent, don't go outside. But you take your regular exercise and take your food. <coughs> right quality, right quality food. Bodyless food. Okay, that's the thing. Also, it's nearly beating. And you wish for us. Thank you very much and good luck. Best of luck.